Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Hello Lux. Today I have a very exciting video where I'm going to share and unbox my very first Van Cleef and Arpels purchase that I picked up overseas when I was in Japan. I'm gonna be doing a whole bunch of things in this video. I'm gonna be unboxing it. I'm gonna be going over the price and spoiler alert, it's actually cheaper than any other country um, that I've actually looked at. So even France, Italy, etc. I'm gonna be sharing, you know, the policies for Van Cleef and Arpels for resizing, returns, you know, appointments, how to get yourself on a wait list for a hard to get item. And I actually ended up getting this item resized, which is why it took me so long to finally unbox it for you guys. So at the very end of this video, I'm gonna be covering how the resizing works, the policies, you know, fees, timeline. So if that's only what you're interested in, then I'll make sure to leave timestamps down below. But other than that, please enjoy this video and please follow me on Instagram. That's hellolux underscore, which I'll link up here. Um, and yeah, that way you can stay up to date. So if there's any updates um, or if I have any video ideas or polls, I, I'm always putting it there first. So yeah, let's go ahead and let's get started. So a little bit of backstory for this purchase is if you guys have followed my channel for a little bit, then you guys may or may not have known that I graduated from undergrad a few years ago. I have an engineering background and you know, ever since I started to get my first paychecks and start to actually build up my collection with my own money, I've been really focusing on bags. Um, and that's pretty much where all of my money has been going to, which is bags, SLGs, um, and this Cartier right, ring right here is my first fine jewelry purchase, but I've always been eyeing Van Cleef and Arpels. I was eyeing it a few months ago, even before there were like past two to three recent price increases. But what actually ended up happening is I ended up putting my name on the wish list for this item right here, which I'll post a picture of, which is the hammered gold necklace. Um, and I'll talk about wish list and wait list that later down the line, but just a quick backstory. And that one, they told me it was going to take about a year to actually get. And the more and more I thought about it, I thought that. Hmm. I knew that eventually, like way down the line, I'd be interested in the guilloche necklace. So I figured that it wouldn't make sense to get the hammered gold and the guilloche. And then, you know, at the same time, I knew I always wanted one of their classic, you know, necklaces that are in, I don't know, like Mother of Pearl or Onyx or anything like that, one of their more gemstones. So I figured to just take myself off the wait list. Um, and then when I finally went to Japan, I figured that this would be a great opportunity because Van Cleef and Arpels is significantly cheaper in Japan than the US, which is where I'm based, and even in Europe. So again, I'll be touching on that, but that's a little bit of backstory. So let's just go ahead and let's unbox this item. I know you've been staring at this box for too long, so let me go ahead and unbox it. This box is a little bit tough, and I've already um, taken off all the ribbon to make things a little bit easier. But this is a classic Van Cleef and Arpels box that comes with all necklace or pendant purchases unless you buy a you know bigger necklace um, let me put that to the side here is the box right here that it comes with it's sort of this microfiber suede material I don't know if it's actually leather um, but that's what it feels like the base looks like this and let me go ahead and open it are you surprised at what I got so for a lot of you guys who maybe came from my Instagram this is definitely not a surprise at all this is the vintage Alhambra in Mother of Pearl. And if you guys saw my Instagram stories, or I think I posted it on my YouTube community tab, so make sure you subscribe so you can see those as well. But I was deciding between this and the guilloche necklace. So the guilloche necklace, again, I'll post a side-by-side -side picture right here, but I adore it. It's so beautiful and it's very, very hard to come by. So I personally was in Osaka. There was only one guilloche across, I think the three or four Van Cleef stores here in the US, it's also very hard to come by. Um, a lot of times you just have to be lucky or you know somebody cancels their order or something like that and that's how you end up picking it up. But you know, I knew that I had set myself a budget and even though it was significantly cheaper to buy in Europe and it was very tempting, I decided to not go overboard and just buy what I had originally you know, gone there for, which was this mother of pearl. So yeah, let me know, is this a surprise? Is this what you think I would have bought? Yeah, I would love to hear. So taking it out of the box so you guys can see a little bit better and I'll make sure to post um, a few other videos or photos so you can see it because the Mother of Pearl definitely looks different in very different lightings. But yeah, so this is the Mother of Pearl in the vintage size. There is also a smaller size, which I'll post a picture of right here on the screen. And this one is in the yellow gold. They also have it in white gold as well if you are somebody who likes silver, platinum, white gold jewelry. But yeah, this is my purchase. Awesome, so now to share a little bit of price like I had promised. So in the US, this currently retails for $2,750 plus tax. So after tax where I am, which is about 10%, that means that this would have ended up being somewhere around $3,025. 
Now let's actually go ahead and let's look at France where you know Van Cleef and Arpels is from. So France right now, this currently retails for 2,960 euros. So that we need to convert to USD. So if you're watching this video later down the line, um, double check what the currency exchange rate is now. But with the current you know exchange rate, that's about $3,220 USD, give or take. Now we know that Europe has the VAT refund. So personally, I've made plenty of videos on those um, VAT refunds and how much you actually get back. So check out my videos linked up here. So one is from France and then one is from Spain. And I go into just a lot of details there and share exact pricing. But from my experience, even though the VAT refund is technically 20%, you only end up seeing about like 12 to 13% actually back as a refund. So with that being said, taking into account, you know, 12 to 13% off the euro price, that brings you to around $2,830. So that being said, if you bought this in Europe rather than the US, you would save maybe essentially just a little bit of tax money, again, depending on where you live. If you live in a state that doesn't have high sales tax like Hawaii, then this might not even make that big of a difference for you. But again, so that's basically like a $200 difference, you know, where I live in a very high tax state, um, $200 difference. Now looking at Japan, so Japan, this currently retails for $374,000 in Japanese yen. Now what's interesting here about Japan is all of their tax freeze um, can technically be applied at the time of purchase. What that means is like in Spain, again, watch those videos or in France, you make the purchase and then you, you know, as you're exiting the airport, you get a stamp of approval and then you get the refund after you leave in the, you know, after you already leave the country. In Japan, if you go to certain boutiques, a lot of times these boutiques have to be the standalone boutiques, um, doesn't work as well in department stores, but they can actually look at your passport and apply that refund before you actually made the transaction. So after she looked at my passport and filled up the information all through Global Blue, which again, I touch on all my past videos, the price went from $374,000 to $340,000. Now with my conversion rate at the time, looking at my bank statement, that's 2,563 USD. So with that being said, I saved about $500 purchasing in Japan. And I feel like this is really understated. I know Japan or Asian countries um, aren't as big of a travel destination, but if you are going there, you know, really take this into consideration because people often just think, you know, Europe is the cheapest, the country of origin is the cheapest. But as you can see with what I just went over, that is definitely not the case. So now I'm gonna be touching on some general tips if you are intending to purchase at Van Cleef and Arpels. So I would say definitely make an appointment. I don't know how it is at your boutique, but at least in my local boutique, you can't even go in without an appointment. So you need to book one, I don't know, one or two weeks in advance. When I went to Japan, I made an appointment online. It's all on the same website and you can specify if you want to speak English or you know whatever language you're comfortable with, or what you're looking for. And an essay actually reached out to me I would say about a week before I actually ended up being in Japan and I told her what I wanted. Um, and that way when I got to the store, you know, she already had everything laid out. So that made it super, super seamless. Another tip is to ask for different necklaces just to compare. So at the time that I was purchasing this, I asked to see a few different Mother of Pearl necklaces. As you can see, Mother of Pearl has a, you know, sheen and each one is made differently. Um, because of course they're natural stones. So you might have preferences as to, I want it to be you know, more white. I want to see a little bit more of the pink in the background. Um, so that way you can take a look at a few, compare and then pick the one that you like best. Another thing that I covered in my France hauls, which I think it was either LV or Chanel, which I'll link up here, after any big luxury purchase, I always like to ask for a big plain bag that I can put my, you know, purchase in because walking around the street, um, even though Japan is relatively safe with a bag that has, you know, all the branding and stuff like that, you know, you always just want to be better safe than sorry. And in my case, it was also raining. So I didn't want my paper Van Cleef and Arpels back to get wet. So they gave me this great, you know, plastic bag that I was able to put everything in and it looked super discreet and protected my purchase. Another thing that I want to cover, um, which I didn't know is, I don't know, tell me if I'm wrong or if you've purchased this in Europe, but in Japan, apparently they don't do the travel pouches or any other sort of pouches besides this box. So when I came back to the US, um, I actually had my necklace resized. They gave me a pouch. I don't know if this is a travel pouch, but, um, or if that's a separate one, but this can definitely be used for travel. So as you can see, this is what it looks like. And you sort of unclip it right here. You pull this out right here. 
um, and then you can put the necklace in there and easily you know transport it so again I don't know if this is a travel pouch but or some sort of other pouch but this um, was not available in Japan so always ask at the time of purchase if they have any additional you know pouches or anything that you can use to store your jewelry the other thing is Van Cleef & Arpels, in my opinion, has the very best service. So I've made purchases in Chanel, Cartier, Louis Vuitton. It's always, you know, basic, would you like some water? Would you like some champagne? Um, personally, in Japan, they gave me a box of really, really adorable chocolates, which I will show you guys right here. These are from Paris. Um, and yeah, just really, really thoughtful. And what's interesting, which is I can show you right here. Um, so this is the brand of the chocolates. And I think this is a worldwide Van Cleef thing because even in the States, they have these two. But this one personally has Japanese, but you can see right there, it actually says VCA. So I thought that was pretty cute. They gave me a little box of chocolates um, in this little bag with my purchase, which was adorable. And then when it was time for me to actually get my necklace resized, which was this past weekend, it aligned with the Lunar New Year, Chinese New Year, whatever you want to call it. So she actually was able to give me some envelopes, red envelopes which is right here. Um, so again, super thoughtful. Let me push this back. And these are super gorgeous. And then she also gave me a card as well, which was also really cute. Um, so if you guys are unfamiliar with the Lunar New Year, the year, this year is a year of the rabbit. So again, really, really thoughtful card. And yeah, my local boutique, they have like macaroons from Lauderay, they have like fresh organic juices. So I would say like Ben Cleveland Arpels is my favorite boutique to visit. Um, even my partner loves going with me because he'll just like eat, you know, all the macaroons there and with the juices and whatever they have. So love the experience there. And truly, in my opinion, one of the best experience at any of the luxury boutiques. So now I'm gonna touch on what else they're gonna give you at your time of purchase, regardless of what you purchase. Um, and sorry if you can hear the background noise, I think my neighbor's doing some construction. Um, but first things first is the certificate of authentication. So I can go ahead and post a picture of what this looks like. Um, so you can look for you know what to expect, maybe if you're buying something secondhand. Again, I will post a picture of that um, for you guys to view right here. The other thing, of course, is the receipt and this beautiful envelope. And then you know, usually you'll have the essay's name. So this is the essay that I worked with in Osaka. So feel free to ask for her if you are interested. But yeah, they'll always put their card there and then the receipt will be tucked away in there. The other thing is they will give you a booklet on, you know, how to take care of whatever you just purchased. So every single stone has their own booklet. So as you can see right here, this one is specifically for Mother of Pearl. So they just have it in a bunch of different languages. Um, and again, look at the booklet to make sure you know how to take care of your stone because for me, for example, I know that Mother of Pearl is very delicate and that's something that I took into consideration when purchasing this. I know I'm going to have to take it off and, you know, whatever, when I shower or go into water, go swimming, anything like that. So definitely do your research beforehand, but if not, the essays at the store are happy to talk through how to best take care of your piece. So now I'm just gonna leave this eye candy here as I touch on some of the other policies. So one of the policies that I think is a little bit confusing and not very clear is their refund and I guess exchange policy. So back when I had put my name on the wait list for the um, Hamburg necklace, what happened was I needed to pay in full sort of as a deposit. But what's interesting is if you buy something in store, you actually cannot get a refund. So what was gonna happen is let's say I put the deposit down and then I came in you know, a year later when the necklace was available. I can then at the time when the necklace arrived at the store, I could decide to reject that necklace and that way they would just essentially cancel the order. But if I decided to you know, go through with it, pick it up, take it home, then I actually couldn't refund it. So that's how refunds work for online, or sorry, um, deposits. I don't know what the policy is for regular in-store purchases. I don't think you can refund it, maybe exchange it. However, on the online store, you can do refunds and exchanges. So take that into consideration. If you are deciding to purchase something that is you know, from Van Cleef & Arpels, definitely ask what the refund and return, whatever policy is, because it's different depending on what you're buying, where you bought it, etc. One more thing about deposits is you pay the price of the item at the time that you're making the deposit, regardless of the item at the time of pickup. So even if the item were to increase in price a year after when you pick it up, it doesn't matter. You shouldn't have to pay any differences. Again, double check this policy, but this is a policy at the moment that I'm filming the video. So might be a good thing to consider because you can pay, you know, the price a year in advance. And if it does go up, you won't be affected. Now to touch on resizing. 
So for me personally, I knew that I was most likely going to get the necklace shortened. Um, it comes with two lengths, which let me show you. So there are two sort of holes. So you can see there's one right there and then the other one is right here. So there's default already two lengths, but I just like my necklaces to sit a little bit higher and I personally like layering as well. So um, I just wanted to take it resized and I think you may have seen it in here, but when they actually do give it back to you from the resizing shop, if you are making your necklace shorter, they're going to return any extra links to you and they'll put it in here. That way, if you did want to decide to extend it later on, you always have the original pieces. Now the policy is within one year of purchase, you can resize as many times as you like. So let's say I got this resized and I'm like, oh, it's too short, I actually want a long. In fact, I even wanna add extra change. Then you can do that all free of charge within one year. After one year, there is a fee. So again, try to do everything within that one year if you can. There's actually a new way that they are starting to resize. I think before it was a little bit more manual and you could perhaps give exact specifications as to how much you wanted to take off or you know add. But now what they have, which I'll try to attach a picture right here, it's almost this necklace that is a dummy vintage Alhambra necklace. Um, you'll even see it has a little pendant and there's different sort of, I guess, loops on it. And that's the shortest loop. So again, let me show you guys this for reference, but there are two loops on the Van Cleef necklace um, by default. So when you're trying it on, you are choosing what you want the length to be for this hole right here. And then for the second hole, this distance is always going to be the exact same. So depending on what you choose as your first hole, um, just add you know this distance and then that's going to be your second additional length. So that's how they do it now. Um, so you essentially just put on that necklace and then you decide which length fits you best and then that will be your shortest length and then go, they'll go ahead and they'll add another length and that'll be your longest length. I know that can be a little bit confusing so let me know if you have any questions but again, do it within a year. If you don't like it, then you can always go back and get it resized again. So yeah, that pretty much wraps up my Van Cleef and Arpels video. Hopefully you found this useful. Um, hopefully you enjoyed my purchase. I'm so excited to wear it. It's something that I've been looking forward to having for a while. So I know there's a lot of you guys out there that also love Van Cleef and Arpels. So let me know what you think of the brand. Let me know of your other favorite fine jewelry purchases. So yeah, hope to see you guys on my next video. Please like this video, subscribe down below and follow me on Instagram. I'll see you on my next video. Bye.